Well, hello everybody, Roger here, and welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So, I realize that I have not yet done a haul video on this channel, which is kind of strange, because I've bought quite a bit of books recently. I had to make up for my huge unhauling, so I have to work on refilling my bookshelves once again. I just had a recent excursion to Half Price Books, which uh, put a little bit of a dent in my wallet. But there's nothing I love better than going uh, to the bookstore. So, on to the books I've hauled recently. And uh, the first one is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, we, don't, we originally read this book from my book club, my in-person book club, but I was unable to make that meeting for whatever reason, so I didn't, uh, I didn't end up reading the book after all. I purchased it, but I haven't read it. I've heard great things about it. Uh, I've been wanting to read it for a while now. Okay, so the next book I hauled was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. So with this book, I did the opposite. I saw the movie before I read the book. Now, this book has been on my wish list for quite a while now, and uh, but I ended up seeing the movie first since the movie just came out. So I had to go out and get the book because I wanted to compare the book uh, to the movie. But I have been looking forward to reading this book for a while now. So even though I saw the movie, I'm going to read the book. So the next book that I hauled was The Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I like fantasy novels, and her work has been recommended by a lot of people whose opinions I respect. So I hope to read this, start this one within the next month or two. Maybe I'll put it on next month's TBR list. So I've been wanting to read the Steelheart series by Brandon Sanderson for a while, and there it was. But the UK cover, nonetheless. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of the uh, USA cover for this book. So anyway, I ended up picking it up. So from what I gather, a burst of power in the sky gives certain people these extraordinary powers, and these people end up uh, aren't always the nicest. So it's up to the Reckoners to put them back in their place. So it uh, sounds kind of interesting. Now, I also got Mitosis which is a novel novella in the same series as the Steelheart, which is the Reckoner series. So uh, that looks like, this looks like fun too. Um, so it's like between the first and the third book. Now while I was at the bookstore, Half Price Books, two Rick Riordan books uh, caught my eye. Uh, one is The Sword of Summer. And the other is The Hammer of Thor. So I've been, I've been wanting to start this series for a while now, so it's just perfect that these two books were out there calling to me. Um, now, I'm going to have to hunt down the third book from somewhere in the series because I believe there's three of them total. Just put those there. Whoops. Bumped my camera. Hopefully I'm still <laughs> in view. Um, so the next book. So I was at Barnes & Noble uh, in the middle of last month, and somehow... Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. I jumped into my basket. So strange how that happens. Um, what this says, it's a collection of stories about the Shadow Hunter world that uh, Cassandra Clare has created. I'll probably wait until I finish the Mortal Instruments series before I before I tackle this one. Um, I also ended up getting the first three books in the Chronicles of Nick series by Sherilyn uh, Kenyon. Uh, I understand there's like eight or nine of them total, I think. But, uh, but yeah, so I ended up getting Infinity, Infamous, and Invincible. So I thought I would give these three a go before I bought any of the others. Now, I believe that these follow a teenage boy named Nick Gaucher, who is the son of a demon. And uh, this series is actually a spinoff of her Dark Hunter universe, none of which I've read. So I, ho I hope these books can stand alone. I do believe they can. Uh, but I might have to check out her Dark Hunter series to see um, if I like them. This sounds kind of intriguing. So the next book I hauled this month was 
entitled Scourged, which is the ninth book in the Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn. And I actually have this book in ebook format, so I don't have a physical copy. So what this is, is an urban fantasy series set in our world where supernatural creatures such as werewolves, witches, vampires, demons, and elementals exist, as well as various de deities from uh, different mythologies such as Loki, Ord, Odin, and the Morrigan. Now, the entire series is told in the first-person point of view of Atticus O'Sullivan, a genuine druid who is a couple of thousand years old, but through his magics, he looks like he's about 20, um, where Atticus gets embroiled in day-to-day -day struggles of gods, goddesses, and other supernatural uh, creatures. Now, this is one of those series that I absolutely love, and I always get the latest book on release day. In fact, Scourged just came out just like within the last week or two, and and I got it right away. I actually had pre-ordered it, so it showed up, magically showed up in my Kindle the, the day it came out. So if you're looking for a fun, exciting series, then you might want to check out the Iron Druid Chronicles, because it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, next book I hauled was entitled Looking for Alaska by John Green. So this is another John Green book that I've been meaning to read, but haven't gotten around to it. Uh, so I saw it on sale, and I snatched it up. So uh, what, I've, what I've heard about it sounds, sounds really good. And the last book is... The Rhythmatist. This is another book by Brandon Sanderson. This is actually Brandon Sanderson, Brandon's young adult book. You know, I wanted to check this out, so when I saw a copy on eBay, I decided, hey, what the hey? So I, I know, so I bought it. You know, I tend to buy all of Brandon's books new and in hardcover, with the exception of the Mistborn series, which I ended up getting in uh, paperback. Now, what's funny about this book is it says, Uncorrected Advanced Reader Copy Not For Sale <laughs> on the top of the book, which means that the seller should not have been selling this copy. Uh, it kind of pissed me off that this isn't the final version of the book. Hopefully, there's not too much of a difference. I uh, also thought I got the hardback book. I've rarely ordered paper books, but I probably did. You know, maybe I'll have to check <laughs> Check my eBay order to see if I got ripped off here. But anyway, I'm looking forward to reading The Rhythmatist as uh, this has been on my list for a while. So that is my recent book haul. How about you? Have you purchased any interesting books lately? Let me know in the comments uh, uh, what you've bought and what you're reading. And uh, that's it for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.